Pasta is a carbohydrate-rich food, which means it can affect blood sugar levels. When we eat pasta, our body breaks down the carbohydrates into glucose known as sugar, which enters the bloodstream and raises blood sugar levels. The rate at which pasta affects blood sugar levels can vary depending on the type of pasta, the amount consumed, and the other foods consumed with it. Pasta made from refined white flour is typically higher on the glycemic index, which means it can cause a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. Pasta made from whole grains or eaten in smaller portions with fiber-rich vegetables and protein can help slow the rate at which the carbohydrates are digested, leading to a more gradual rise in blood sugar levels. People with diabetes or those who are concerned about blood sugar levels should be mindful of the portion sizes and types of pasta they consume. It's important to balance the amount of pasta with fiber-rich vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats to help slow the rate at which the carbohydrates are digested and keep blood sugar levels stable. Additionally, incorporating exercise after a meal can also help regulate blood sugar levels. If you're looking for alternatives to pasta, There are many healthy and tasty options to choose from. Please subscribe. Zucchini noodles, also known as zoodles, these noodles are made by spiralizing zucchini into thin, spaghetti-like strands. They are low in calories and carbohydrates, and can be used in place of pasta in many dishes. Spaghetti squash, when cooked, the flesh of spaghetti squash can be easily scraped into long, noodle-like strands. It has a slightly sweet flavor and is a great low-carbohydrate alternative to pasta. Shirataki noodles, these noodles are made from the root of the konjac yam and are very low in calories and carbohydrates. They have a slightly chewy texture and can be used in place of pasta in many dishes. Cauliflower rice, made by grating cauliflower into small, rice-like pieces, cauliflower rice is a great low-carbohydrate alternative to traditional rice or pasta. It can be used in many dishes and takes on the flavors of the other ingredients in the dish. Bean or lentil pasta, these pastas are made from beans or lentils and are higher in protein and fiber than traditional pasta. They come in a variety of shapes and can be used in place of regular pasta in many dishes. Spaghetti squash boats, instead of using pasta noodles, you can roast spaghetti squash halves and fill them with your favorite sauce or toppings. These are just a few examples of pasta alternatives. Experimenting with different ingredients and recipes can help you find the perfect alternative to pasta that meets your taste and dietary preferences. Let us know your favorite pasta alternatives. Thanks for watching.